So in this example, we are going to continue with uh, using the division algorithm, except notice that for these problems, we have these negative dividends here. We're still going to utilize the um, long division, the old school long division, and certainly use our calculators. But we have to remember A is equal to Q times B plus R. That's the division algorithm. A, Q, B, and R all have to be integers. And another thing we're going to check, we have to remember that our remainder has got to be greater than or equal to zero, but less than our divisor. So for A here, we have negative 67 divided by 5. So using long division, that's 5. We have our box and negative 67. Over on our, our calculator here, here is my negative key. It's way at the bottom here. It's enclosed in these parentheses. In most scientific calculators, you'll have a negative key and it'll look similar to this. So I'm going to go negative 67 divided by 5. Now the key, the important component here, is that we want to round down to the nearest integer. Now on our number line, when we go down, that means we're going to the left on our number line. So if negative 13.4, we go down to the left to the nearest integer, that's going to be negative 14. So our quotient up here is going to be negative 14. We then do negative 14 times 5. That gives us negative 70. And remember, the key here is that we subtract this. Don't think that the negative attached to the result is the same as the process of then subtracting it. So now we have negative 67 minus negative 70, and negative 67 minus negative 70 is the same as negative 67 plus 70. Negative 67 plus 70 is 3. And of course, if we follow the rule here, our remainder has got to be greater than or equal to 0, which it is and it's got to be less than the divisor of 5. So 3 is greater than or equal to 0, but less than 5. Writing this in terms of the division algorithm, we have negative 67. That's equal to negative 14 times 5 plus 3, and negative 67 is indeed equal to negative 14 times 5 plus 3. Our quotient is negative 14, and our remainder is 3. We'll do the same process for B. We have negative 1,356 divided by 31. So we'll do 31 we have our box, negative 1,356, our negative key, 1,356, divided by 31. Again, with this result, we're going to round down to the next integer. So our quotient's going to be negative 44. negative 44 times 31. That's negative 1,364. And don't forget, we subtract negative 1,356 minus negative 1,364 is the same as negative 1,356 plus 1,364. That gives us 8. 8 is greater than 0 and less than the divisor, so I think we're done here. So writing this in terms of our division algorithm, we have negative 1,356. That's equal to negative 44 times 31 plus 8. Our quotient is negative 44 and our remainder is 8. And there we have it.